Yes! Oh, I'm Dave from Dave's Jungle, and today we're going to be looking at constrictors. They are such a graceful animal. Using thousands of little muscles like a wave to push themselves along. Snakes have between 240 and 1,000 ribs depending on the species. This Burmese python has 800 and a spinal cord going right down to the tail. The eyeball is protected by a thick scale rather than an eyelid, so the eyes are always open. For most snakes their eyesight is quite poor compared to ours. They don't really see detail, just shapes. Snakes rely on scent and sound to identify their prey and their surroundings. They pick up scents by flicking their tongue. It is pulled in and touches off the Jacobson's organ which is situated on the roof of the mouth. It is then identified by the brain. If more of the scent lands on the right fork of the tongue, the snake knows that the food is on the right, and the same for the left. However, if the scent is equal on both forks, the food is straight ahead. Python's boas and some other snakes like vipers have a heat pits where they can actually see the heat in infrared coming from a body. These are so sensitive that they can even see the heat prints after the animal is gone. Snake's teeth are facing backwards like so, they're kind of hooked and they can have as many as 160 of these really sharp teeth. So when the snake catches its prey, its mouth opens like so and then it grabs the animal and the more the animal pulls, the better grip the snake has on it. The python quickly starts to wrap around and squeeze the rat till it cannot breathe and its heart stops. Flexible muscles attach the upper and lower jaw, allowing the mouth to stretch like a sock over its victim. Now it has the task of pushing the food in far enough so it can swallow. As a rat moves down towards the stomach, the skin, scales and ribs stretch and the heart actually moves out of the way. And then, several days later, the rat emerges from the vent. But now, looking a lot different. 